Yeah, hello people. Um, just a quick video on, well, there's a few things that um, I learned along the way that's just made things a lot cheaper now when I set up uh, like another tank. And what it come down to was there's a lot of the equipment I had for like much of my first tanks, which were like four foot or smaller, was I'd have, say, a 300 watt heater in there. And I was always under the impression that a 300 watt heater is good for up to 300 litres, but I found out that's not always the case. With um, I've got one, or well, two of them, you can see it now actually, that's a, a 300 watt, uh, what's it called, aqua, whatever it is anyway, aqua eco, 300 watt heater from Maiden Air Aquatics. Now that is in a 180 litre tank, and that is what it's rated as, as the highest end of things, well for one, between 150 and 180 litres, I mean, that's ridiculous for a 300 watt heater, because um, like the same, I know that a lot of the time you get what you pay for, but they, I paid like £25, £26 for that, and it basically is efficient as one of the 300 watts you get off of eBay for like £12. Do you know what I mean? It really, they uh, like it's a proper rip off of what they are, I think, personally. And um, like they've struggled every tank they've been on, even this one. I'm um, in the winter, no doubt, I'll have to put something either bigger in or an extra one in now, but um. Like, this is what's happened, when I've got bigger tanks, I've had to buy, um, well, I tried to get an extra heater to put in tanks, and it just didn't work out that well, because they didn't need to be calibrated, really, for them to be, you know what I mean, run as good as they can be. So, um, I've just done a lot of things by trial and error to see what worked, and this is what I've tried on the, the, all of my more recent tanks. Now, on this 7 foot, originally, um, when I set it up, I had this 500 watt, um, Aqua Eco. Is this Aqua Eco as well? I think so anyway. It's one of them made in an aquatic jobs. Right? Um, but the thing was, it was £40. So it's dearer than um, like getting on to like being almost twice the price of the Eco. And it's rated for a 500 watt heater up to 500 litres, right? but for £40. Whereas the cheapest out of all of the heaters was the Eco. And it's um, 300 watts rated up to a thousand liters. Now I thought that that would be strong in it a bit, or that's just another manufactured claim. But um, I've tried it on this. Uh, I think it's a couple of liters shy of 800 liters. It's 722. And in there, all I've got is that uh, the 300 watt Elon. Is it Jaeger? Oh, oh, I think it's Jaeger or Jaeger. But if it's closed, I know it'd be Jaeger. But um, I mean, that's done the tank. Right. I mean. It's been spot on to be honest with you. I mean, it's got it set. Yeah. Is it coming up as 81.3 in the in the water, 80 in the in the fish room. But um, so yeah, basically this is what I was getting to anyway. That not always paying more gets you better because if I could only pick one heater to ever use again, I just didn't know they still made these because um, when I got back into tanks, I went to try and find the eons I used to use when I was into tanks as a teenager which looked the same but the top of it weren't blue, it was green and I think they must have stopped making them because I've never seen them since but um, in the end I've just thought, do you know what, for £25 it's the cheapest one and the most powerful um, well eon, you know it's quality anyway but um, this JBL one it's not, I, I'm, I can't lie, it's not bad this one. It's 300 watts, it does up to 400 litres. And a lot of the JBL stuff I, I haven't had um, a bad experience with, to be honest. They've always been all right. It's just, I think it's Maiden Ed that's putting these prices up to being stupid. Because that's 20, what is that, 28.95 or 49? 28.49. Now, that's still £3.50 more than the Eon. So, I mean, that's what actually made me... Right, be drawn to this one in the first place is it was it looked so like closely based on a um, Eon that I thought Do you know what that's not normally a bad thing because um, I've got one of the um, oh, what's it they make again Aquamanta it's for um, Maiden of the Quacks again one that are in house job things but um, that I've got that down here if you can see it behind the boxes oh, oh, no, I think we're going to have a nightmare trying to see that down here Right, an EFX 300 is like, pretty much the exact copy of an EIM. But um, for that reason, and, I mean, I'd imagine that that's why they actually they do seem pretty reliable. But um, yeah, it's so a 25, 28, and 40. The 40 pound one, I just I can't get me nut around to be honest with you. But um, 
like cutting corners, I suppose in certain in some things is alright, but there's other things like filtration is is really not forgivable. But like for example, um I was looking at lighting for um for this this five foot here to my right. Um it's the one with the tannins and all that in it. It's not piss, honestly. It's um I've got a wild caught um umbi in here, Rio Mag Umbi. And originally I had the tank, I was trying to get the pH down for B9 and since I've had it, well I think it's got to be this bit of wood because I've had the leaves out of here now and it's still like that so I'll see after a water change tomorrow. But um, yeah it was a light I was after and all the ones, so I'm just removing the reflective cover, but um, I mean this is literally I think it is two foot maybe, two foot length, yeah T5. Now that cost me £12.50, £12. something like that, from, um, oh, not, what's it called, Serco, it's not Serco, they're the arsehole's that drive the vans, uh, Selco, they're the, um, it's like a building supplier, uh, builders merchants, but yeah, £12 and they're for outdoor use as well, so they're alright with um, not being submerged obviously, but being splashed, so um, yeah, that cost me £12.50, now, like this one here, and I've got this on a 7 foot, I mean that's ridiculous, um, a two foot lamp, but it's just shows, I suppose it shows you the power of it, and that's doing a seven foot. So I mean, although it could do the bigger one, because you know, dark corners, the fish quite like that, and two, I don't want it so, one, these are well caught, and two, I don't think it's good for them anyway, to have you know, light so bright that it's uncomfortable for them, so I'm quite alright with that. So I don't, I'm not one knows for like big, huge, bright lighting. I like quite subdued lighting on the tanks anyway. But yeah, that one down there is my um, tetracanthus fryer. That's what I mean, having to cut some corners because um, the thing with the fryer and all that, it's all adding up, like the cost of all this. So I'm ready to get in a load of these containers now, bung sponge filters in all of them, and that's how I'm gonna have to run a lot of them. But yeah, definitely there is ways you can, you know what I mean, save yourself a few quid out there. Because yeah, the light I was looking at for this, I mean, and these, from the um, the write-ups I see about them, weren't too great either. I was looking on eBay, and they had some of these cheap Chinese LED lights, and people were saying they were so weak that you literally needed two of them. So I thought, you know what, all I need it to do is so I can see inside the tank, so it does that. As soon as, um, I mean, he's not staying in this tank anyway, I've got the female coming. Um, she's got four eyes, she's at someone's um, house now, the person I've got the, well I'm biting the pair off of them, but I've got them male so far. But um, well, when the female comes, they'll be going, I've got um, b uh, grow outs coming into this tank, and in the tank, the, the b oh no, there's no point, the lights off anyway. But um, yeah, the b are in um, a six foot, six by two, so they can, um, these two are going to be going up into that. Because um, he's got to be, what, 12, 13 inch, and um, this is a 5 foot by 20 by 20 tank, so I think it's a bit unfair to have a fish this big in a 5 foot, but I know some people do it, but for a wild fish I think that's a bit, you know what I mean, it's not really fair. But yeah, that's what, I've been, that's what I've been able to do, cut some corners, but um, uh, well, that's, I've got two hobbies and passions in life, one of them I'm sitting here recording about now, and the other one I've just rolled up now. So, if you cut corners with my second hobby, literally it's pointless. You might not, have, you might as well have not bothered. You might as well have had a cigarette. But um, yeah, that's me. I'm gonna go off, have a nice smoke, and watch me tanks. Cheers, people.